What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we're back with another Creature Vote Submission. Now guys, today we have the Carchodontosaurus. Now, straight away I'm going to be straight up with you guys, I don't think we need another large theropod. This is purely my opinion. I really don't think we need another large theropod. This and like the Ceratosaurus, you know, we already have the Carno, the Allo, the Rex, the Spino, the Gigas. We, I don't think we need another large theropod. We've got tons of them already. So, we've got the Carchodonta here. Now, this one doesn't have too much information. It does have a uh, dossier, though. Uh, we'll be going over that as well briefly. But this one, they're, they're basing it very similarly to the Giga, and I'm assuming it's going to have, like, a bleed attack sort of thing. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this. I would honest, I'm would i honestly probably going to put him at the end. Uh, that's just my opinion, though. Don't let me sway your decisions. Um, but, yeah... I, I'm of the mind that we don't really need any more large theropods. But nonetheless, let's go over his dossier. So we'll take a look here. Named for its sharp, jagged, shark-like teeth, the Carchodontosaurus viscera is a ferocious predator. Its jagged teeth allow it to easily bite through the flesh of its prey, effectively eviscerating it. Larger than the T-Rex, but smaller than the Giga, Karcha has a bite strength that can rival the two, but not, cannot withstand as much of a beating as they can. Now, quickly, I'm just going to pause here, guys, because I'm pretty sure this guy was also suggested for the Lost Island map as well, I think. Off the top of my head, I'm pretty sure this guy was a one of the submissions for that as well. Uh, but let's go over the domestication of it. So, domesticated Carchodontosaurus are usually tamed by large tribes that require gathering large quantities of meat for food. Due to their ability to gather a huge amount of meat easily, they are a choice mount for gathering prime meat as well. Now, the Karcher does not usually engage in combat with other large creatures due to its lighter body structure. Its bite, however, allows flesh to tear off easily, making smaller prey, such as humans, much more viable as prey. So... So you can see here we've got ticks on this human skull, the parasaur skull, but not the trike skull or like raptor skulls. So obviously it's going to be focusing on like small herbivores and stuff like that. But I imagine it would get some kind of bleed attack as well if it were to get implemented. Um, purely based off wild card design. Maybe even like a stampede attack where it can like uh, charge. Charges like a theropod and, and like stomp really strongly. I don't know. But... I'm not the biggest fan of the Carchodontosaurus. The design of it is awesome. I actually really like this design. It looks sick, the artwork of it. But yeah, I don't really see this being implemented too well into Ark, especially when we already have such large theropods already. Like, you know, we've got the Megalosaurus as well, the Allos, the Carnos. Like, I've already been over them. I don't think we need another large theropod in between the Rex and the Giga. But that's just my opinion. So that's going to wrap this one up today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more, and I'll catch you in the next one.